pairs event at the 2021 Ross Telecom Cup prediction outcome. Pairs has always plays out the way I imagine it. Not only did I get the podium correct, but I also got the top five pairs in the right order. The only pairs team that I had on the top six that did not make the top six was Nicole Dinamonica and Matteo Garizzi, who came out seventh. Um, and I think they might be injured because that's the second competition that I've seen them where they have not performed to their top ability. Um, anyhow, the rest of the event played out pretty much as was expected. I like watching pairs because it's so stress-free and I don't have to get in my feelings. Um, the winner of this event was Anastasia Mishina and Alexander Galiamov. They actually had a mistake in the short program. Um, Mishina actually fell on her side by side and they ended up in second place. However, they came back in the long program and won with a comfortable lead. I really like this team, and I think the mistake in the short is not a problem. You could obviously see it was a one-time thing, and I think them having ups and downs in the season will help them uh, um, improve. They won't get too comfortable, and they'll keep working towards it. I still really wish they would change that ending pose where he yanks her up in the air by her booty. Oh my God, it's just... It's so unappealing and there's so many other positions they could do. And again, I'm constantly fearful for of risk having to yank her up in the air like that. But anyways, other than that, um, they've secured their spot um, to the Grand Prix. Coming in at second place was um, Daria Pavlachenko and Denis Kadukin. They were actually first after the short program. They have this they have two of the most difficult programs out there for pairs. The there's so many intricate, difficult things in their short and long program. And I was really happy to see them do everything cleanly in the short program. However, in the long, Daria had a fall on the side by side, which put them second overall. Pairs is proven to be really interesting as well. At first, I thought the two Tamara Masvina teams, along with the Iteri Tuberetsi team, were shooting to go for the Olympics. However, after this performance by Daria and Dennis, I have to think that it's going to come down to the Russian nationals to solidify which three teams are definitely going. I'm I'm really looking forward to Russian Nationals, which is going to be a bloodbath in three out of the four disciplines and also which is going to be like super competitive for pairs. Um, coming in third place was another Tamara team, the young team of Yasmina um, Kadranova and Ivan Blashenko. I have great expectation for this team, not just because they're a Masvina team, but because they're such a well-matched pair. They already have a triple style, triple style combination, and all their elements are really good. They had a really clean short program here with everything, every element done with positive GOE. The long program didn't go so well. They had like this freak mistake in the death spiral where he let go of her hand and she simply went sliding and they also had a, a fall on the throw flip yet despite all of that I still think this team has great potential they are not a factor for this Olympic cycle however I'm really looking forward to see how they're gonna grow in the next four years Coming in fourth, and I took a leap of faith and put them in fourth, was, um, and Andrew, oh my God, the turkey brain is real. Um, Audrey Liu and Misha Mitronovov. Ooh, no more turkey for me. They came in fourth place, which is where I had them. This is another team that will not likely factor for the Olympic cycle this time around, but nonetheless, they have a bright future. Imagine if at least two of the current top U.S. pairs retire. That is going to leave a huge space that I think um, Lou and Misha can definitely step in and fill that void. 
they had another clean short program here and although their long was not perfect i think it was good enough and then finishing fourth here is really sending a message to the u.s skating federation to really start investing in them for the future so i definitely see this team being sent to full continent um and in fifth place was um kristen moore towers and michael marinara unfortunately i felt like for kristen and michael this was just them digging themselves deeper into that hole that they have been in all season the short was just it was just not there for them they finished in seventh place overall in the short program they had an error in the twist they doubled the side by side there was a fall on the throw loop i just feel like unfortunately this just solidified the fact that they are now canada's second pair team honestly if i'm the canadian skating federation i will send Kristen and michael to the olympic because i have no other options however if jane if um vanessa james and eric radford can do a decent job at nationals i'm gonna send them as our national champion the judges already judge gives them better scores anyway um Kristen and michael did do better in the long program however at this point i feel like the damage is done Pairs was pretty straightforward, and I always enjoy watching pairs because I feel like there's not that much anxiety in it. Although that may all change in the Grand Prix when you throw the Chinese into the mix. However, with this, Anastasia and Alexander have made their way to the Grand Prix final. I cannot wait to see the Grand Prix finals. I did pretty well in pairs, though, in terms of my prediction. But how about you? Let me know what you thought of the pairs competition here.